<laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. When last we left off, that thing went big kaboomy blowy uppy things. And it's irradiated, so we're gonna need a radiation suit for that, which will require uh, a couple of things of fiber mesh, and fiber mesh, as I recall, requires creep mine. So we're gonna go get some creep mine samples. For a start. And we're gonna take the creep vines that we have allocated for our own needs. Ah, for our own needs! Go back to this place and turn them into fiber mesh. And then turn that into a radiation suit. Come on. Come on. Come on. And there, we have a radiation helmet, radiation suit, radiation gloves. Fins aren't, uh, radiation proof, but I don't think they need to be. What is your problem? You silly cat. You always have to... Excuse me a second. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, Subnautica. Well, we have a radiation suit, which means we can actually go near the... R if we want to. Although I don't particularly see an immediate need for that right away. Of course, it'd be nice to have a rebreather, but I don't think we're gonna need we're gonna do that until um, I can clear up the radiation surrounding the Aurora. Because you know, if I replace the rebreather with re re replace my radiation helmet with a rebreather, it's just not gonna do anyone any good. We have a spare battery now, so I can replace the battery in one of my pieces of equipment when the need arises. Um, in the meantime, though, what do I do? I genuinely do not know what to do from here. What? Stupid nonsensical bull crap. Well, I guess just go looking for more materials with which to increase the likelihood of our survival with. Oh, boop, booper snoot, doop poots, fucking crash fish. On the bright side, anytime they do that, I can. Oh my. Lights on, please. Take the sulfur out of their nest? Question mark. I don't know what else to call it. Out of the plant with which they have. <laughs> so many distractions here. Air. Whoa. Okay. Random floaters on the surface. Well. Ooh, what the? F I didn't think they would hurt me. For what little damage they've done. I didn't scan one of these peepers yet, did I? Well, that's done. Um, let's check this out. Is this something? Sea glide, sea glide. Um, salvage. So, nothing of importance. There is this, but I don't think there's anything. Ah, there, there, there's pain here. There's pain and heat and 
Hotness. Yeah, I don't want to go. Oh, wait, no. Got another message. Going back. Wait. Chair. Oh, that's not exactly what I was thinking or hoping to get my hands on, but whatever. And then get back to the life pod so that I can check my messages, so that I can, I don't know, figure out what I need to do next. Because they seem to be what guide me in whatever given direction I need to go in at any given time. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Oh, it's that. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay. Um, I apparently have all the elements required to get a beacon, a graph trap, and a waterproof locker. We'll start with a beacon, since that's going to be more important. <coughs> Graph trap, since that's interesting. That uses up the battery that I just got, doesn't it? Fuck. I was reserving that battery for an emergency, and I just went and I blew it on this stupid thing. <sighs> Whatever. Just hoping for some sort of guidance here. Actually, you know, uh, back to the beacon manager because you know I don't need that. I want to figure out where that signal was from before because that puts me in the direction of a different biome, and a different biome means different things to look into. And the cave system, I'm not going to go to that cave system just yet. But I did find, I just don't want to, because there was a fragment of the sea moth there. And a sea moth fragment there means that there's probably other sea moth fragments, which means I can potentially uh, scan all the stuff required to get a hold of a sea moth uh, blueprint. And if I have a Seamoth blueprint, I can then figure out how to... All right, mobile vehicle bay. That's also important. Because I need to find fragments of that so that I can actually construct the Seamoth. Because the Seamoth, it will increase my range of operable capability uh, even more. Yeah, I think these are docile. Actually, let me surface, please. Just for the sake of it. And dive back in. Like, there's the life pod. There's the cave entrance. And where are the things? Oh, there they are. Let me just scan these things. Reef back. Oh, what the fucking dick and shit knocker? Ooh, what? Ugh. Okay, yeah, it's the, the reef backs themselves are docile. It's the tiger plants growing on the back of them that are the fucking problem. Ugh. Fine. Ooh, this is a great big chunk of the. Aurora. Fuck are you? Passing 100 so, meters. Uh, Oxygen efficiency decreased. Dude. More gold. Yeah, I gotta be looking out for fragments of things that I can scan to help increase my survivability. In 
this place. Salvage. Yeah, I'm running out of inventory space. I've got to be careful about that. Thirty seconds. Oh, blah blah blah. Thirty seconds of oxygen. God, you think that it was such an important fucking resource? Well, it's so near that right there that I don't think there's any need to leave a beacon here. But um, I think. Scanner room fragment. That's a thing. Will you fuck off? Whatever you are, go away! God, I'm gonna need to use these. Asshole. Bioreactor fragment. So. I have a new blueprint for a scanner. Blue. Blueprint. For a scanner room, blue flint. Blue flint. I saw a blue thing. Oh no, it's quartz. Um, but um, bum bum. Anything here? Propulsion cannon. Uh, scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it. You can eat my. Rectal cavity. <sighs> All right. Oh God, I'm also noticing that I'm down on power on this thing already. Two percent power. God, I sh should not have wasted that battery on a graph trap. All right, which way? <sighs> I'm gonna have to swim manually to get back this way. Guess I'm gonna run out of power. And I don't have a means to recharge batteries yet. So that's wonderful. Uh, back to the life pod the long way. Okay, back in the life pod again. Let's get out some of the acid mushrooms to go with the copper that I found along the way to make another battery so that I can reload my sea glide. Okay, good. Great. Fuck me, alright. Yeah, I get it. I'm at all sorts of odds with absolutely everything on this stupid planet. Alright, let's drop some of this nonsense into the only locker that I had. Actually, you know what? Let's take this out, make another locker, a floating locker, one of the waterproof ones, so that we can. Dump even more stuff. And we'll just drop it out here outside. Right below. There. We have another fucking locker. Stick everything in there. Anything that's not important. Uh, great water and food resources. Well, I have the uh, I have that one nutrient block, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Where are these table coral samples just sitting here come from? Those are the ones that I lost. No, I don't care about the name. I just want to put these these coral. Put the coral. With Nope, can't get rid of all of it. Alright, um... Shit. Uh... Bladderfish. Bladderfish. That's a thing. Actually, no, wait. Stop. Let me get a sense of my direction and orientation. Where are we? That's the direction of the Aurora. That's the direction of... That life pod where I think the sea moth was, but I'm not sure. We will have to, we'll have to find out. Because I actually 
I, I want to find Seamoth fragments. And of course, mobile vehicle bay fragments. It's another good thing. Because we need one to have the other. So I'm going to go back over this general direction and start looking uh, around for more scraps that could be more valuable to uh, progressing in this game because I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress just yet. Is there anything in here? No. Because I'm remembering we're going to have to go pretty damn deep to get to the bottom of what's going on on this planet, quite literally. And of course, the cave system's over there. The cave system, again, I'm not going down to that cave system until I've gotten seen. Sh shut up. I know we need fluid, but there are no methods of obtaining fluid around here immediately. Wait a minute. That looks like a seamoth fragment. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Uh, I need one more Seamoth fragment. Gotta keep my eyes open. Could be things in that cave. I don't want to go into that cave just yet. Um, fuck. I've got to go to the surface. Calorie intake recommended. Oh, shut up about your caloric intake. Just eat that last nutrient block. Vital signs stabilizing. Um, as for water. Uh, shit. Bladder fish, of course, are the most viable option. Is that a Seamoth fragment? Oh, these are things. Ah, Seamoth Fragment! And a Bioreactor Fragment. So now I have a Bioreactor. It's a salt deposit. Um, yeah, better get to, uh, back to the life pod and collect bladderfish along the way. Just look out for bladderfish so I can get more water. Are you a bladderfish? No. Are you a bladderfish? No. Are you a bladderfish? Yes. <laughs> Oxygen! Who needs it? Uh. Alright. Back to the life pod again. Wait. Have I... Seek fluid and take immediately. What is this? Laser cutter fragment. Okay. That's progress of some kind. Maybe. I don't know. I know I need fluid intake, and I will get fluid intake uh, the moment I get back to the life pod. Bladder fish. 30 seconds. Oh, God. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. It's like, oxygen is so goddamn important. Okay, water. Give me more water. Give me all the water these bladder fish can grant me. Just give it all. Everything, you know, all of it. I want more water than I can possibly imagine. Also, cook bladder fish because why not? Yeah. All right. Um. Okay, we finally have the sea moth fragments all gathered up so that we can build a sea moth. Unfortunately, in order to build a Seamoth, we need the mobile vehicle bay. So I need to go looking for more pieces of the mobile vehicle bay, and I'm... Not 100% sure... 
were to be finding fragments of that at. But I'm. Um, um, well, I guess we're just gonna have to figure out that next time, and perhaps next time, if I find uh, the Mobile Vehicle Bay fragments, and I can build a sea moth, then our next objective is the Aurora, so that we can, uh, you know, I don't know about fixing it, but salvaging what we can of it so that we can survive a lot better would be a thing. Also, considering all the water that I just got without consuming any of it, I better drink it. Stabilizing. Okay, good. And we will do all that next time on Let's Play Subnautica. But until then, thank you absolutely everyone for watching. As always, there will be uh, links in the description below that you can follow up on my social media and my coffee page. RCFS and out.